Hello everyone, it's Spirit of Paradox here. The Ultimate Universe is coming back and you should be excited. Let's start from the beginning. Ultimate Marvel was launched in 2000 with Ultimate Spider-Man. Later on they would add Ultimate X-Men, Ultimate Fantastic Four and my personal favourite, The Ultimates, who are the Ultimate Marvel Universe's version of the Avengers. Ultimate Marvel's run went on for 15 years and had a lot of success in the early years. Later on it would stumble along the way of Ultimates 3 and Ultimatum that was considered the death of the Ultimate Universe. After the events of Ultimatum, Ultimate Marvel never recovered its readers back and was going downhill from there. But... There were some hidden gems, known as Miles Morales and the Maker, aka Ultimate Reed Richards. The Ultimate Marvel Universe would end up being destroyed in the events of 2015 Secret Wars, with Earth-1610, the Ultimate Universe's Earth, going to war with the main Marvel Universe Earth-616. Whilst all the chaos was happening, the Maker had plans to make an arc that would withstand the two Earths colliding with each other. During the Secret Wars event, the entire multiverse was destroyed except for Battleworld that was created by God King Doom. In the climax of Secret Wars, the Maker made a deal with the Molecule Man to have his consciousness and his body across the multiverse. The Molecule Man realised the Maker was a dick which resulted in the Maker being cut into pieces and eaten by the Molecule Man. But there was another character from the Ultimate Universe in Secret Wars, Miles Morales. Miles Morales managed to stow away on the Maker's ship and hide, and by the time they came out of stasis on their ships, Miles Morales managed to find his way to the 616 Heroes. But in the climax of Secret Wars, Miles Morales gave the Molecule Man a burger, and for that kindness, the Molecule Man granted Miles Morales a wish, and his wish was to go into the main Marvel Universe of Earth 616. After the events of Secret Wars 2015, we never really saw the Ultimate Universe fully restored until Spider Man 2 and Al Ewing's The Ultimates. In Al Ewing's The Ultimates 2, the Maker made his return to do bad guy stuff with the Superflow and the Multiverse. He brought back the original Ultimate, the OG Ultimates, and made them fight the 616 Ultimates, and you probably have seen the infamous One Punch Blue Marvel did to Ultimate Hulk. Yes, I am an Ultimate Hulk fan. Ultimates and the OG Ultimates stopped fighting and realised they were both on the same side, they turned on the Maker and took him down. But they finally realised that the Maker was a body, he had a consciousness in every universe and a body in every universe, so the OG Ultimates decided to go into the Superflow and hunt down the Maker. That is very important people, remember. The OG Ultimates are hunting down the Maker in the Multiverse or the Superflow, remember that. But there was another story that had some Ultimate Universe information, and this story is called Spider-Man 2. We saw the Ultimate Universe restored with the Ultimates, and Ultimate Spider-Man, aka Peter Parker, alive and well, with Iron Man being replaced with Ultimate Ironheart. Also, remember that part too. The Ultimate Universe was later shown in Miles Morales' Spider-Man issue 19 to 21, where we saw the 616 version of Miles Morales, who was much older and was a bad guy who was friends with the Kingpin. 616 Miles Morales would end up losing his wife and found the way into the Ultimate Universe where his wife's variant was alive and well. But this is Marvel Comics, and there's never a happy ending. 616 Miles Morales would turn into a new villain called Ultimatum. A nice reference to the event that destroyed the Ultimate Universe, but it's a nice little reference there I must say. 
So 616 mouse is going to be called ultimatum. So it's a bit easier than not getting it all confused. Ultimatum went back to Earth 616 to find his original Earth 16 counterpart, Miles Morales, and tried to force him back into his universe. Of course, Miles Morales was not going to have this and wasn't going to do this without a fight. With Ultimatum and Green Goblin, Ultimate Green Goblin, were defeated and ended up getting blasted back into the Ultimate Universe with the Prowler, who is known as Miles Morales' uncle. This story with Miles Morales was simply set up for the Ultimate Universe's return. But wait, there's more. In Donny Cates' run in Venom, the Maker is heavily involved with Eddie Brock's story. The Maker would ally himself with Eddie Brock for a time, but he had his own plans which is to go back to the Ultimate Universe and restore it. The Maker also managed to obtain Ultimate Venom. So yes, remember Ultimate Spider-Man and Venom? That Venom symbiote managed to find its way into the 616 Universe, including Thor's hammer, Ultimate Thor's hammer. But it didn't really go anywhere with that, so that's why I never mentioned that part. Later on in the events of Donny Cates' Venom, Eddie Brock would go and confront the Maker, and this is when the Maker had revealed his plans somewhat. He was covered with the ultimate symbiote of Venom, and later on found out that his base was intruded by someone. A load of fighting happens, and then it would end up with Eddie Brock and Dylan Brock going to one universe with the intruder, and the Maker returning to his native homeworld. The Maker had returned to the Ultimate Universe in New York in flames and destroyed with the Ultimate Venom symbiote, with the big screens in New York saying, where are the Ultimates? Remember when I said, remember that part in Ultimates 2? Yeah, this is the part you need to remember, and this might get a bit confusing. So when I say Ultimates here, I mean the 616 Ultimates, and when I say OG Ultimates, I mean the original Ultimates. But do you remember in Al Ewing's Ultimates 2, the OG Ultimates got resurrected by the Maker, and then he got taken down, and then they were hunting him down across the multiverse in the Superflow. But in the ending of Spider-Man 2, the entire group is alive and well, the OG Ultimates. So I'm a bit confused here, on which story is set when, if Ultimates, or Al Ewing's Ultimates 2, is set before Spider-Man 2, or vice versa. Because if you really think about it, if the Ultimates went out into the Superflow hunting down the Maker, and now that they're back in the Ultimate Universe when Spider-Man 2 came out, and then if you look in that run in Venom, you see that the Ultimates aren't there. So I'm assuming Spider-Man 2 is before the events of Al Ewing's Ultimates, and then they got yanked out of the Ultimate Universe into the events of Al Ewing's Ultimates 2, and now they are currently in the Superflow, hunting the Maker down across the multiverse. So I've tried my hardest to make that not confusing. Forgive me if it did, I really tried my hardest to make it sound normal or easy to understand. The Maker's plans, however, is to restore his universe into getting himself into the Council of Reeds, which is basically an interdimensional council of Reed Richards who basically play God and um dicks. And obviously the Maker's a, well, a giant dick. And obviously it would make a lot of sense if all the dicks were together. So he wants to get into the council of Reeds, to, but the only way he can do that is by restoring his universe. And he plans on doing that by replacing the 616's universe's place in the multiverse and replacing it with the ultimate universe instead. So imagine I 
I don't know, you have a house and I just drop it on top of yours and yours is crushed, but mine's still intact. Something like that, I'm assuming. So yes, we are going to be getting an event where the ultimate universe is going to come back and invade the 616 universe. Question is though, when is this going to happen? Are we going to get any new books? Hopefully we do, but the ultimate universe is definitely coming back and there is a lot of potential for it. Originally, the ultimate universe was made to bring in new readers into comics because of the continuity mess Marvel had made during the 90s. The ultimate universe was a breath of fresh air for new readers and I think you could really do with that right now. Comic sales are not really as high as they used to be and aren't as prevalent as they used to be. I think it's time to start another continuity where new readers can come back in and start from the beginning and have a continuity where it isn't a mess. So I do think the Ultimate Universe is coming back with something in the works with Donny Cates and Saladin Ahmed. We're going to be getting more Ultimate Universe content with Miles Morales this March. Uh, I think it's Miles Morales Spider-Man issue 36 and on the cover, but keep this in mind, covers tell lies, bro. So keep this in mind, on the cover of Spider-Man issue, or Miles Morales Spider-Man issue 36, you see the Ultimates on the top left corner. And it seems to be like Saladin Ahmed is going to be closing up that loose end with Miles Morales and Ultimatum story. And with Donny Cates, obviously his run has concluded when it comes down to Venom. But more than likely we will see something in his run of Hulk. At the moment Hulk seems to be in the multiverse exploring which Miles Morales and Shift are going to be doing with this multiverse event. It really does go to show that yeah, the Ultimate Universe is still alive and well and it's coming back. Are you guys excited to see what's happening? Or do, would you prefer the Ultimate Universe just stay dead? You know what to do in the comments. Like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. If you liked this video as well, it does help. And yeah, take care everyone.